Hi everyone, this is Alvin, the mouse musician. I'll be doing a tutorial today about FL Studio. I'm a newbie uh, when it comes to FL Studio, I just started using it. And I'd like to make a tutorial about my first impression um, of this um, DAW or DAW and uh, some of the basic things that uh, a beginner should know. Um, I've been watching some videos online. Uh, about tutorials on how to use FL Studio and you know at first it's really daunting at first it's really um, you know, confusing to use but as as you use it as time goes by um, it becomes easier and you become familiar of how you use the the system or the DAW so let us start with with these parts here as the upper part of the screen. As you notice, whenever you um, hover your mouse into something, um, the the name of that button appears here. You know, it, it's supposed to give you a hint or you know an idea of what it does. So it, it the name of th of this part here is the hint panel. So uh, let's go through you know some of the stuff that we have here. So one is the metronome. Um, and then others are wait for input to start playing that this is when you start recording so um, the recording will not start unless you press something on your keyboard whether it be your computer keyboard or uh, your MIDI keyboard depending on your options or your settings um, if you press this then you know that will activate and this is the countdown before recording um, and blend recording overdub so when when you have this activated and you put in loop recording so whenever a, a loop cycles and, and you press or you correct your mistakes from the previous loop it will just blend uh, or become an overdub to your recording so I'm, I'm not sure if I explained that correctly um, but you know you can try it out if you want. Um, typing keyboard to piano keyboard. Uh, scrolls to reach time markers. Step editing mode. Enable node. Clip gr clip groups and multi-link to control. So this is what you use when you, you know, um, modify your your uh, controllers, especially when when using a MIDI keyboard. Yeah, but that's for another video. Uh, these things I'm not really familiar with. I haven't tried using these, but most of the time I only use these buttons right here in this one. And of course, the pattern and song buttons right here. You have the play pause buttons, the record button, of course. And when you press record, it will ask you for you know what what do you want to record if you want to do an audio into Edison uh, which is a plugin so you can edit it there or you can put it as an audio into the playlist as an audio clip um, it can also be notes in automation if you just want to know you know record the, the notes that you're playing or you can record everything so simple as that and then uh, let's say you, you chose notes and automation it will not start recording right away unless you press play or if you put in wait for input to start playing and then you press play it will not start recording un until you press something on your keyboard alright so let's stop that and then uh, this is the song position so this is where you'll see that and then so it's monitors right here and this is the memory usage so you can monitor the amount of memory that your um, software is using of course the undo uh, open new audio editor one click audio recording so you know that that explains itself and some of these I don't really use but you know this one if you don't know the tempo of the song or if you're composing something and then you just know the tempo of that song you can just you know tap this thing right here uh, and that will automatically adjust the tempo aside from that um, so 
open project or plugin picker you know that explains that explains itself and view browser plugin picker so there's the one that's where you can see all the stuff that you have on your PC so you can or your or Mac you can see your plugins and your data right there aside from that um, you can you also have this this is the view mixer so this is where you'll find your um, outputs let's make an example for this one so let's start with um, making a beat let's just do this one time oh, it doesn't play anything there so if you go to the mixer you'll see that it's here in insert one but you can always change that by scrolling this part of your channel rack let's use something from FL Studio let's go here alright so I'll explain this part later on or maybe on another video but you know, I'll just make a demo right now on how to use the channel rack so you can put in a plugin here you, know, you can just drag it there or you know click this plus here if the plugin is not here you can click on more plugins so you know the plugins will populate and aside from that um, let's try this out so I put in the boo base right there and when you click it, it should it should work but I think I don't have my MIDI controllers active right there so I'll just activate it okay it's working now see that so um that is how you use the channel rack so you know there are more ways of using this um you know if you want to go with the details but basically you know for a beginner that's already a good example of how to use it you know what purpose it serves um aside from that um you have this piano roll so this is where you you know put in the notes manually if you're not the the kind of guy who likes to record live you can just you know put notes right here or record your notes live and then modify it here or you know edit it here so let's give you an example then um, that was an automation so let's do that Alright, so I already have recorded my bass right there, and let's turn this off. So these are the notes. As you can see, my playing is not that perfect, so we can modify it here. Let's just play that. Okay, so we can control Q for quantize. Okay, so as simple as that, you already have edited your bass track. So aside from that, um, you see the this part here, it's the playlist. So this is where you see your, or what's happening with your recording or your arrangement. So, uh, and then the pattern. So the pattern one. Um, in, in using FL Studio, when you record something or when you arrange your song you arrange it into patterns so we just played our bass track so let's change the name of this one to bass and then um, go from there bass all right and if you're wondering how to use the 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 um, uh, well, what do you call this part of the playlist um, window you can just paint things here so when you're already on this pattern whatever you've done on this pattern you can paint it here so as you can see you can adjust that 
Alright, and then you can play it. Uh, you can play it. If, if you want to play this part of the screen right here or nav navigate this part of the screen, you need to choose song, not pattern, because if you choose pattern, it will just be, you know, it will just play this part or just one part of, you know, th this, this part here, not the whole arrangement. So let's play that. Okay, so that's good. All right, so um, I think that's enough for this video, and um, I'll be doing s you know some explanation about the other parts of of FL Studio, you know, mainly this part here. So maybe in another video. So see you again next time, guys. All right, peace out.